Hello, everybody. Alice is to my left. I'm over here. And we're playing Crown Trick. I don't remember where we actually left off. I guess we started a dungeon, and I don't remember doing that, but that's okay. Oh, we have a gun. Oh, is this the... Oh, I remember what was going on. This is the Explodey Dungeon. Right, right. Or the Explodey Gun. The Cannon Gun. Oh, we're in a shop. Um, how much money do I have? Where is my, oh, 700? What's that? Is that a whip? Oh, it's a rope of blessing. It looks like one of those little, like, it looks like one of those little whips where you're like, hee hee hee, naughty boy. That's what it looked like. It didn't look like no fucking rope of blessing unless you're blessed by the pain, I guess. I don't know, maybe you like your fanny being spanked. Every time you switch familiars, your max HP will be increased by 20. That seems kind of busted. Can you redo that or is it like each familiar is 20? When continuously using a skill, the same element. Yeah, okay. Unstable portal. 5% chance to daze all enemies within one tile whenever you blink. For every 5 skills used, the MP cost of the next skill will be lowered by 100%. Hmm. Normal attack damage plus 50%, base MP plus... Wow, that's really good. It's a shame I can't sell anything. Hmm. Well, I can't afford any of that, so off we go. Right, I think we just beat the witch. I think that's what happened. We beat the witch. Our little broom broom. Okay, so every time I reload, this thing hurts me. Oh, look, traps. I don't know if I like this gun that much. It's a very painful gun to use. I guess I need to match it with some healing. I need a new weapon, dear. Hopefully there's a weapon in here. I don't think that's the weapon one. Oh, it is. Oh, Sword of Corrosion. Rifle of Whispers. When target is four tiles away, 50% chance to make them silent. Huh. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Max HP minus 20% whenever your attacks crit regain 10 HP. I like that. We'll take that. We should have a lot of crit actually now. What's our crit chance? 30% chance to crit, honey. That's pretty good. That's a good, good weapon.
Oh, I died. Wow, he was very tanky. I thought I was going to kill him. Apparently not. I was wrong. That's my fault for not paying enough attention. My game really does not. My computer really does not like these load screens. Hmm. Alright, let's go talk to you then. Anything new? She's just doing some lore stuff. Let's see, what else we got? I oh, need 200 to upgrade that, huh? Hmm. Alright, let's go to sleep. We need to unlock another another merchant guy or upgrader. Would be nice. Anything else to spend our souls on? Ooh, is that a wand? Each hit has a ten percent chance to cast icicle on the target. That sounds pretty good. Let's get that one. Fire breather. Take. I should have got Abaddon first. Made me waste a blink. A challenge encountered. Use a weapon for less than 10 times in this room. A less weapon use is just a better reward. Okay. Use our abilities. Oh, that's a lot of money. Oh, money goes away, like instantly. Uh, was there some money in the fire? I just didn't see it. Oh no, I was talking about the sniper. Okay. I don't care that much. What's this memory? The boy who lies. Yeah, it's just the robot. Sure. I'll get a 25% discount. Why not? So that's what the icicle is. Actually, we'll pick up those. I should use items more. I need to... Um... What I need to do, dear, is I need to slow down and think more about it. I need to use my old brain. I don't use that enough. I mean, who uses their brain while playing video games? Not a big fan of just the money in the chest, but you know. Oh, I'm fighting Abaddon right away.
Okay. I think we got him. We got him! That wasn't so bad. Using the fire to my advantage was probably my... my biggest advantage. Um, 20% chance, not bad. Probably the Philosopher's Stone. A 20% chance to not use mana is pretty good. What's this? Trident of Tentacles, honey. Ooh. Oh, I kind of like that. That sounds fun. I don't know if I'd call my weapon the Trident of Tentacles, though. It sounds a little, uh... Dream key. I'm gonna use my potion. That was a rough room. Uh, then there was still a room up above, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that one has an exclamation point. I wonder what that means. Oh, exploration. You're an exploration. What is this room? Is this a gacha game? Oh, it's a weapons gotcha game. Oh. I could have a chance to get a golden rifle. Well, I want the golden rifle. That sounds fun. Let's spin. I got a common. Spin one again. Got a common. Spin again. I got nothing but commons. Gee, I suck. <laughs> Damn gotcha games, honey. They sure got me. Is it gotcha or gotcha? It didn't really seem like it was worth the uh, key. bedroom and a heal cool I mean a hundred soul shards is pretty good but okay let's get Abaddon in here Oh, is this the boss already? Is it the same boss? It is.
Oh, I have no mana. Did she eat my mana? Easy claps. Tria's... Tria, more like trivial. I made a stupid joke, leave me alone. It was funnier in my head. Okay. Ah, let's do attack power. No, yeah, let's do attack power this time. A relic blueprint, Yata no Kagami. Relic. When continuously using the same skill, reduce base MP cost of skill by 20%. Crit rate plus 20% whenever HP below, below 20%. Eh. When hit with an enemy skill, absorb MP equal to the cost of that skill. Now, nah, let's get this one. Not a great selection of skills there, but it's all right. Yeah, so the first boss, easy peasy. I haven't made it to the second boss yet, so... That's right, 25% off. When obtaining a buff, there's a 20% chance the second buff. Nah. I feel like this is a pretty good idea, but... Is there, like, a wiki? Because I want to know... Um, you just have, like, a life. Rope of Blessings. Uh, I don't know. I just want to know if... Hmm. I, I still don't know if that, like, well, I guess swapping familiars actually doesn't happen that often. Immune to drenched and greasy, huh? Let's swap one more time. When continuous in the skill of the same elemental aspect, increase skill power by 10% per stack. Hmm. Let's do it. Same elemental aspect. So fire... Boom, fire. Mm. When attacking enemies with us, 25%, increase all damage dealt by. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I'll grab that. These are 10 turns of not using any skill. You're... Eh.
For three turns, enemies who normal attack the caster will suffer a minor amount. Nah. How did I? How, did I not hand in my blueprint? Hmm. Oh, combining different elements actually is pretty nice. All right, let's continue onwards. Not the end of the world there. I shouldn't have got hit, however. Okay. So, are you a- oh, you are a boss. Unlock the trickster. Ooh, a stat scroll rare. Max MP, max skill. No, skill power up 20%. 10% is really good. Burberry. Ooh, a defeating enemy, a ball of electricity will spawn and deal electricity damage to all targets close by. Bouncing up to three times. That sounds pretty good. When hitting enemy without critting, obtain a 5% crit buff. For every five skills you know, this is pretty cool. Wonder what that did. So what do you do? Set a gravitational field at a specified location. Point all enemies within five by five square area around it to move towards the center. Wow, that sounds pretty good. I like that. Hmm. I think we go to Abaddon then. You enter the room, buzzing with electricity. A box stands in the middle of the room, clearly the center of the circuit. As you move closer to observe it, coins in your possession are suddenly sucked out of your pocket into the box. You notice the strength of the electrical currents, but don't want to lose her. Pick up the coin. I will take that deal any day. Alright, we're going to put a cut on the video here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.